Hello Cancer, Elsie here to do your reading, my friend. It is for the week ahead. Can you believe the week ahead is already the end of May? But listen, whenever you find this, whether it's today, tomorrow, or next year, um, it's always going to be for the week ahead. Um, but I am dropping these cards on the week uh, before the end of the month. So, um, thank you so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you. If you are a person who is always here, clicking, watching, subscribing, being in the comments, thumbs up, all of that stuff, I appreciate you the most. If you are brand new and you've just tripped over 10 of Cups Tarot, I hope you'll stay. That subscription button is over there if you want to press it and put on the bell button. Um, I usually do read for water signs on a Tuesday, unless something's going sideways in my life. I try and stay on track. All right. So we're going to look at... Um, some uh, oracles. We're going to look at Wisdom of the Oracle. We're going to look at the Divine Goddess Oracle. And we're going to throw some tarot at it. We'll clarify a little bit, find out what's coming up for you in the week ahead. Um, uh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me what's coming up for Cancer, please. Tell me what's coming up for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? All right. We have time for a nap. We have uh, the fork in the road, and we have round and round. So, Cancer, I feel like time for a nap. It's telling me that you need to slow down. It's time to take care of you. We've got... Uh, the uh, card number 24. I feel like uh, that maybe you've been giving a lot of reciprocity to people, that maybe you've been out in the pentacle world doing things, working, being with people. I feel like the universe is telling you it's time to slow down. It's time to take care of you. It's time to replenish your energy. <clears throat> Pardon me. Just looking at the stars, seven stars, eight stars. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, right? To me, stars are pentacles. I have a deck that, that is called the Wandering Moon Tarot and, and the stars are pentacles. So I'm looking at pentacles because it's it's like all of this earth energy here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it does look like it's time for you to work on yourself. It's time for you to take time out for yourself. Uh, time for a nap. It tells me that it's, it's time for you to... Um, it's time for you to turn inward and look over some of the details of you. It's time for some self-mastery and taking care of yourself. I feel like this brings you to the fork in the road. I feel like you're at a place where I think that you're in Groundhog Day. I want to say... Um, cancer, it feels like with round and round, it's like that's all you're doing is you're going round and round. Work, eat, sleep. Work, eat, sleep. And uh, the fork in the road tells me that you're hoping for change, that you're looking for change, that you're looking to transform something here. I'm just saying that because card number 13 is here, and that is um, um, that is the uh, energy of the death card, right, in the tarot. And so this is transform transformative energy. So you are at the fork of the road. I feel like you need to make some meaningful change in your life, um, I, I think, Cancer, is what's going on here. Because I feel like you're sort of on this round and round thing here. I feel like with this, we've got... Um, the purple, the dark purple or the violet uh, right on the forehead. So I think that your third eye is about to pop open here, my friend. And I feel like the universe is going to do it for you because this is card number 25. And to me, um, sevens are always about heaven. I feel like you're going to get some sort of divine intervention. It's going to send you on some sort of a new path. Look, we've got seven, seven. I like it. Um, we have stability in your transformation. And um, yeah, it's time for you to rest up, I want to say. It's time for you to take better care of you. Instead of, um, instead of figuring out what it is that everyone else wants, it's time for you to figure out what you want. It's time for you to, uh, to practice some self-mastery. I don't know why this is all backwards. What's going on here? Jeez. <laughs> all right. Uh, Cancer, if you're interested in a private read, I have left a note for you. I pinned it to the top of all the comments below this video. So if you're interested in a private read, all the information is there. Tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about time for a nap. Tell me about Cancer. We do have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. <laughs> Cancer, I'm just going to say, maybe you're, you're a little bit angry lately. I'm going to say that maybe you aren't necessarily seeing things as clear as you would like to see them. That maybe you're dealing with some things maybe in a little more of an aggressive way than, um, than an assertive way. When the Queen of Swords is in the reverse, it's because she's not thinking logically. She doesn't have any balance, right? You can see the, the, the 
Libra on there, right? So she's she is the card of Libra. And um, I feel like you're feeling out of balance, I want to say. And that's why time for a nap is here. It feels like you are feeling um, out of balance in the mind. So uh, I'm not saying anything negative about that. I'm just saying that we all need time to rest. Rest the mind, rest the body, rest in the 3D, rest our, our thoughts, right? And I feel like it's, it's almost like you get a little bit of snappy, I want to say. I'm just thinking of the Snickers commercial. <laughs> Maybe all you need is a Snickers cancer. Um, the uh, the uh, Queen of Swords, right? Being in the reverse. When she comes up as someone who's not listening. I'm not listening to you. I'm making decisions. And you're kind of making them willy-nilly because they're not out of logic or reason. Tell me about the uh, fork in the road, please. What's the change that needs to happen here? It feels like you, you need to make some sort of meaningful change here, my friend. If you want to get out of the cycle that you're in. And maybe you're not in any type of cycle. Maybe this reading isn't yours. Take it as it resonates for you. Um, we've got the Five of Wands here. So yeah, there it is. I feel like it's time for you to stop beating yourself up. It feels like somebody is living in um, thoughts and patterns from the past, it feels like. Um, this is uh, Leo energy. We've got the Five of Wands. It feels like there is... There is some things I feel that you've been battling yourself with. It feels like battle of the mind is what it feels like. You've been battling yourself in the mind. It's time for you to stop. It's You're at the fork in the road, my friend. It's time for, for you to allow transformation to happen, for something to, um, to figure itself out here. Card number 13 is the death card. So this has to end. This beating yourself up, speaking to yourself badly, um, it's it's just holding you back, right? The Five of Wands is, is you know, it's like you're you're in the midst of battle with yourself, and so you're in effect holding yourself back. It's um, it's uh, about um, indecision. It's like you can't make a decision because the Queen of Swords is in the reverse. Tell me more about round and round, please. I feel like you keep going in the same cycle. You keep repeating the same cycles and the same patterns. It's so, so important to know our own cycles and patterns. So we don't keep making the same mistakes, crashing into the same things, or have the same things crashing into us. So round and round. I feel like you're uh, possibly on the search for a, um, a soulmate. It could be. Um, but I feel like maybe... You do know who the soulmate is, Scorpio energy here. I feel like you do know it, like you have an intuitive feeling of who the soulmate is, but I feel like you're stuck in a cycle and so you can't really you can't really focus on this here. We've got the Queen of Cups at, at uh, the bottom of the deck. This person is in the future. I feel like this is somebody here who is kind, compassionate, loving. This person's very warm. This person is um, is somebody who is um, very psychic you know they have Piscean energy here somebody who is quite psychic and who is who is holding out a cup for you <clears throat> I want to say this person is holding a cup for you they're making a decision about you I feel or maybe you have to make a decision about this person I feel like this person might be someone that you have a really sort of easy relationship with like the soulmate energies can come up anywhere it can be a love relationship can be a mother right the queen of cups I do see as um, a matriarch or a mother like someone who is the head of the family who is a woman or someone who is um, your mother or someone who is a mother maybe it's your sister um, take it as it resonates for you but this also could be a love interest I feel like um, this is somebody that you have a really easy relationship with I feel like you're going round and round and maybe you don't see this person standing here um, because I feel like uh, round and round it keeps you very busy in this pattern that you're in and I want to say that with the um, the violet energy at the very center of that card tells me you're about to see it all right tell me what else we need to know about cancer please we have release. I like it. We have decisions. Yes. And a new opportunity. All right. Well, that kind of says it all. It says, ask your angels. Seek the divine. Your angels want to support you. So I feel like uh, if you are into meditation or prayer, that's something that you should go to. If you're not into meditation or prayer, I feel like it would help you. We do have to the C. And to me, I always see this card as somebody who is um, uh, moving intuitively, emotionally, and intuitively seven for me is uh is about heaven it feels like you are being you know that you do have someone who's looking at you here watching over you while you are on this journey we have orphaned in the reverse i feel like it won't be much longer that you're alone if you're feeling alone or lonely 
if you decide to make a decision to take this new opportunity that's coming and jump out of this cycle, I feel like um, that you don't have to be lonely if you don't want to be. All right, so we've come up with release. It says release grudges, wounds, pent up feelings through healthy activities. Look, this, this would be the person, the Queen of Swords in the reverse, who is holding grudges. Somebody who does have wounds that are not healed. Somebody who does have pent up feelings. Um, maybe anguish, anger. Um, you know, when we were kids, what did our parents say when we came home and we we're all sort of after school, we we're sort of pissed off with the whole world? What happens then? Go for a nap. Just go lay down for a minute. <laughs> Right? Go to your room. Go lay down. I feel like that's supposed to be your advice here. If you're the one who's feeling ornery, that you're holding grudges, or that you are, <coughs> excuse me, acting in a way, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> acting in a way that not even you like, maybe you're irritating yourself. Tell me more. Sorry about all that coughing there. The windows are open and I've got allergies. All right. We've got the King of Swords. We've got the King of Wands. And we have the Eight of Wands. So I feel like in order to be able to move forward here, my friend, you do have to get stability of the mind. We've got the Queen of Wands in, in the reverse. And I feel like you you need to get into this King of Swords. Sorry, you got the King Queen of Swords in the reverse. You have to get into this King of Swords energy in the upright in order to be able to... Um, to release these grudges, um, the pent-up energies that you have here. Um, the King of Swords is somebody who's truthful and honest. This is a person who is very logical. They are someone who is very interested in justice and getting justice and exacting justice. So I feel like you need to get justice in and you and in order for you to get out of this energy of the Queen of Swords in the reverse. I feel like it's it's time for you to to look more at the self. You're going to need to dig in within this here, this time for a nap energy. It's like, it feels like you need to, um, you need to feel inspired to step forward, to make a move and to move forward. But first you're going to have to release some things that are going on here. We have the seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. There are things that you're keeping underneath the surface that you're not telling anybody about. And just because you don't express them, don't don't think that people can't see them because it comes out as this. It comes out as being impatient, not wanting to talk to people, maybe giving bad advice or being sort of rude, um, um, you know, kind of telling people off like it could it could look like that. We've got um, the High Priestess. We've got the Five of Swords. You are making decisions in the week ahead around the middle of the week, it looks like here. Um, then we have the Queen of Cups. There it is. I feel like you do need to make a decision about this person, right? They're waiting in the in the future, holding a cup. And I feel like this is somebody that maybe you are at odds with. This person is somebody who is quite psychic. They are the High Priestess. They are the Queen of Cups. This person is a mother or a father. This person is somebody who is deeply emotional. They have already showed your emotions on the surface, I believe. This high priestess is somebody who is silent. So this person might not be speaking with you, or this person is maybe someone that you have to connect with in order to speak with them. But I feel like this person is really honest with you, um, really honest to a point of argument. That's what it feels like, that sometimes you two get into a place of disagreement or conflict because you don't agree on the way you feel. So you might feel one way, they might feel another. I feel like this Queen of Cups is somebody who has a lot of deep emotions for you. Um, but it does feel like with the High Priestess here that this person doesn't express it because they don't want to fight. So it looks like there has to be some type of a discussion here. If you want anything to move here, and maybe you don't, maybe this is not your read and you don't want anything to move forward with this person. That's fine too. It says the need to gain clarity through decision making. You must make a decision about where you are in life at this moment. Do you want to change or are you going to be the way that you are for the rest of your life? And either way, you get the lessons that come along with that. So the path isn't bad. Whatever path you pick is up to you. No path is, is worse than the other, but they all have their own lessons. Lessons. So I feel like you need to make a decision to stop talking terribly to yourself, to stop um, beating yourself up about not being able to change sooner. It doesn't matter if you're if you're 25 or 85, you still have a chance to change. There always you can always make the decision to transform yourself. So I want to say that there is silence here. It does feel like there is silence. We don't talk about our feelings. 
Well, let's not talk about our feelings, but I feel like the Queen of Cups has a lot of feelings for you. This person is Pisces, a Scorpio, or Cancer. Um, they could possibly, yeah, be a Pisces, it feels like. It feels like this person is waiting for you to take action. They're waiting for you to say something. This person is not someone who is, you know, this is the sort of passive energy, right? It is feminine energy in feminine leaning energy. But of course, this person also has masculine energy. All people do have both, right? Masculine and feminine energy. But I feel like this person is not the person who will chase. They're not the person who's going to open up the conversation because they feel like you don't want to talk about feelings. That's what it feels like here. Tell me about this new opportunity. I feel like you're going to have a new opportunity to meet somebody, a soulmate friend, um, maybe a soulmate in love. But there is a new opportunity. It says insights gained from new experiences, a job or a partner. Tell me why we're talking about this. We do have the Queen of Pentacles, we do have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, and we do have the Hermit Energy. So I feel like there is some sort of a realization of wisdom that with the Queen of Pentacles, it's like somebody here does want to settle down. I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles energy that you are in this energy of taking care of yourself and that's really all you want to take care of right now the queen of pentacles is someone who is the overgiver though so i feel like you're someone who is very um charitable that you like to help people um but it feels like you're you're someone who's also very solid and grounded you're very logical um, and I, I always have said that Cancer to me, as an energy reader, I feel energy. Cancer feels to me like a Taurus. And you might have Taurus energy, possibly, but you it feels like you are the, to me, you feel like the Taurus of all the water signs. <laughs> that you're kind of the one who is solid and grounded, that you don't deal in, in um, things that you can't um, prove. It feels like you need, you're very logical, I want to say. The Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse, and I want to say that maybe you're just not ready for some sort of new path, but there is a, a new opportunity that's going to be able, that's going to be showing itself here, the new opportunity, but the Ace of Pentacles tells me it's in the reverse, you might turn it down, or you might ignore it, or maybe you're so busy in this cycle of going round and round, work, eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep, that you're not noticing this opportunity. I feel like it's an opportunity with a soulmate, possibly in love. Take it as it resonates for you, but the Hermit is Virgo energy. It feels like you spend a lot of time by yourself. That's not unlike a cancer, right? You like your own time. And especially for those of you who have triple water, you might you might be someone who is um, very vibrational. Maybe you just don't care about being around crowds and things like that. But I want to say that you are, when the new opportunity does show itself, I feel like you are going to think about it. You are going to try and find the wisdom in it. But it feels to me like you're not ready to begin something new. Um, I feel like you are... Um, uh, you're sort of fixated on work and home is what I want to say um, that you're whatever you're doing at home um, and whatever you're doing at work it feels like that's what's taking up most of your time here tell me what this pattern is here this work eat sleep what are you doing here we do have the uh, the moon energy which is your energy we do have the five of wands again and we have the nine of cups so I want to say that you are fairly happy being single um i feel like you do want your wish fulfillment but i still feel like you have this negative reel going on in your head that you speak out loud in terms that are bad like i feel like you call yourself names you you know you instead of taking action and doing things that are conducive to your happiness and intuitive um i feel like you call yourself names or you you're like well i'm just i'm just yeah, I'm not going to say it out loud, but you know what I mean? We all have that negative reel that goes on in our head, and I think yours is on overdrive, I want to say. The moon energy is here, and when the moon is here, things are not as they seem. I want to say things are not as bad as they seem, my friend. You can be happy. You can choose it. Intuitively, you can choose it. Tell me what the outcome is here for cancer, please. We do have the Hanged Man energy. We have the Two of Cups in the reverse. And we do have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're not interested in having some sort of a soulmate relationship. That's what it feels like. You're not interested in that. The Two of Cups in the reverse is, you know, it's, it's like taking the time to balance your own energy. It's also... It's also like you're you're worried about not wanting to get into some sort of unhealthy relationship. I think the hanged man is important energy because I think you're trying to find perspective. I feel like you've realized that your perception isn't the only one. Like nobody can see things from your perspective but you. And if you don't get any 
uh, nobody can see anything from your perception but you, but if you don't get any perspective, you're never going to change what it is that you've been calling yourself names about or being this this negative reel that's going on in your head that you can't do it, I can't have it. It's like, um, uh, it's the, it's, uh, yeah, the negative reel that goes on in your head here. Um, so I want to say, I feel like you're trying to get some perspective on whether or not you want love or what, or if you want to stay single. Um, and I feel like you think that being single is the most abundant way to go and that it is what it is for you. But for some of you, there is, there is some sort of a soulmate, a new opportunity coming up to get together with somebody who could be a soulmate connection coming up in the future here. And, uh, some of you are not going to take that, um, that, uh, that path and some of you are take it as it resonates for you we have death here which is right here um and it is it is about um change and i feel like the universe is telling you that change is coming so whether you decide to change now or you wait for whatever is coming to change you you're gonna have to change and i i don't think that you want to so we do have uh the death card here with the seven of cups i think i think though what is ending here is your confusion and you're overwhelmed. I think you're about to make some sort of a decision about the lovers. We've got the lovers here. Just going to cover that because of the because um, of the uh, vulnerability that we see. When you see people naked on cards, it means that they're being very vulnerable. So I feel like what you don't want to be is vulnerable. It's confusing to be vulnerable to you. And that's why you're out on the outside looking in. I'm going to go for now. Thank you, Cancer, for coming here and watching. I do appreciate you. And I'm going to go. You guys take care. Bye-bye.